Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim and Miss T taking a drive towards Duck Creek out of Cedar City. Uh, we won't go all the way to Duck Creek, but there is a, a lake up here and it gets up to 10,000 feet. I wanted to show her that and the air is going to be quite cool. Maybe we'll go to that lake too, we'll see. Expect delays, road work. Hopefully not today, it's Sunday. We're just getting started though. We're at the uh, lower part of the mountain here, climbing up. It's a real pretty drive. Look at that. Pretty amazing. High winds, drifting snow in the wintertime. Beautiful day, 4th of July weekend. We'll get some more clips for you in a second. Pretty nice through here. My ears are popping. A lot of RVs going the other way. Yes, my little camera on my side mirror is picking up the white line. This is a little tighter than the Virgin Gorge, Virgin River. Got to go a lot slower. Wow. people coming from the other way. Utah is definitely beautiful. Temperature outside, 78 degrees. I got the crusher in fourth gear. So we got us a little... Uh, Scenic pullout in 2,000 feet. Temperature is 68 degrees. Check out that. up here. We arrived at the 10,000 feet. I'm warning Miss Tammy to be prepared. It's going to be cold out there. Because that cold breeze. Ah, it's not too bad. It's warm sunshine. Top of the world up here. Try to zoom in for... You guys a little bit.
picture perfect day. Well, we've arrived to uh, the lake that I videoed before. I'm showing Miss T. I see a lot of cars down there. We can, uh, what happened? You hurt your leg? <laughs> I opened the door on it. <laughs> you all right? Oh, darn. Forgot the name of this lake. Pretty clear. You can see the sandbar down in there. We're at Navajo Lake, down here on the lake. I actually made an effort to drive down here. There's some steps that go down, and we'll go down there and check it out. As soon as she gets out, I can lock the door. I'll tell you, thank goodness for the uh, vehicles won't allow you to lock them when your keys are inside. I tried to lock the door twice, and it kept making a buzzing sound. I thought maybe the door wasn't closed all the way, and it was just I left the keys inside. So here's some stairs to go down to Navajo Lake. Some nice big stairs. That's how clear the water is. Yeah. Very clear. Wow. And very chilly down here off that water. Watch your step now. A lot of steps to go back up, getting our exercise. <laughs> Those are big steps. Wow. There you go. Navajo Lake. The water's really clear like Colorado River. I bet it's ice cold too. <laughs> Yeah, we're 10,000 feet up. Formed by a volcano. In fact, that's where I want to go next. I want to walk us down to where this big lava flow is and show it to you. You can walk out on it. Black lava flow. Pretty amazing, 10,000 feet up, big lake here. Nicole? It's cold, but... <laughs> you just stuck your finger pad in it. <laughs> get your finger again, do that. No. Get your picture. She oh, checks out how cold it is with her finger pad. Oh, there's the wind. The wind is cold. I mean, the water is cold, but the breeze isn't that wet. Put your foot in there. Take your shoe the off. The wind is cold. No. <laughs> this thing is pretty deep out there, too. There's the stairs. Mm -hmm. 
Not a very easy walk around it because of all these rocks. Okay, here we are at the um, Duck Creek Visitor Center. Uh, before you get into the main area down there where all the cabins are and stuff. And uh, they had some nice little facilities right here uh, to use. But what we were wanting to do and show you guys was that lake was formed by a volcano and there's a lava um, spill flow that hardened all along the, the road out here. It's very black and dark up there about a mile. This looks a little uh, browner, but we're gonna show you this actual lava that hardened right over here. This ground is hard, no give to it. Good for the side-by-sides. See, look, lava flow. We're at 10,000 feet, so just walking is uh, taking our breath away. Let's see if we can walk on this lava flow. So they've obviously scraped it away to build all of this. And I know it didn't just end here. Wonder what year and when that happened. So here you go, the lava flow. I was waiting for the wind to die down so you guys aren't annoyed by the wind sound. There's a lot of wind coming down through here. Lava must weigh a lot, liquid rock. Let's go up here and take a look at it. <laughs> Tammy says, is it hot? Look at it all. And we were coming down the road. It's, it's black lava up there. Look at all that. And it just cooled and turned into little boulders. I wonder how much one of them weighs. Let me try to see if I can find a loose one. Pick it up for you guys. Or if they're all stuck together. Well, it's definitely heavy, but of course it's probably porous. Definitely heavy. Look at those big ones. But they're all broken up. Crumbles. Look at up there where it's, I'll zoom in. Look how it's stacked, that little wall right there. And up there. Some of the wonders of the world. Tammy has no shoes except her sandals. I told her we were going hiking. <laughs> kind of uh, the same weather as Laguna Beach, right? Lava flow. Look, at, it goes way up there. I mean, it'd be a problem trying to traverse it if you had to cross over it. Wow. So many loose ones, too. You definitely twist your ankle, break a leg. Yeah, all these are loose. I'm walking on. That's something a geezer needs to be doing. Look at her shoes. Here, step down here. It's a safe little path for us to get out of here. These trees, they got no bark on them. If anybody knows in the comments about when that volcano erupted uh, near Duck Creek in the mountains of Utah, educate us. Yeah, I think I read it one time, trailed off.
Definitely not hot up here. Feels good and breezy. I would say that that uh, volcano, wherever it is, I wonder where the hole is, where the, where the volcano is. It crushed it. All right, we're coming into Duck Creek again. Mm -hmm. uh, I was up here a week or so ago. i show Miss T. Oh, and definitely nice. don't want to go straight. Uh, down here is kind of the I'm village. The store up there. Mm -hmm. the ranch road. There's a, a pretty good restaurant I was told about mm -hmm. right up here. Forerunner, Barcelona Red. So you can rent all these razors. Cabins in the back of the hill. There's dozens of cabins. Got some right here in the village. What I think is going to be is up here they got a bunch of snowmobiles or so. Safe or safe. See it? Here. It was about 25 snowmobiles for sale. There's a big Adirondack tree. 419 a gallon. I got a few. See all the cabins out there? Look at that one shell right over there. All the windows. I'll turn around. Go the other way for you. 